The Greens are not fooled by this government's bill, which is pretending to fix up some of the big mess that their government designed. And this government wants to pretend it is finally making the changes that our country desperately needs after having run social services into the ground. This government once again has made decisions for the past, like the fact that the largest share of the tax cuts under this bill will go to families on more than $127,000 a year, around $33 a week for them, while those on the lowest incomes, less than $24,000 a year, um, will only get maybe five bucks if they're lucky. At the moment, sadly, that $5 makes a difference, makes a meaningful difference, does, $5, and we should not be proud of that. Some families have become so used to scraping a meal together on so little that five extra dollars is actually a thing. It's a deal. And so the Greens won't stand in the way of that. But this bill does not do what is really needed to improve the lives of people on the lowest income and help us all benefit from stronger communities everywhere. And the Greens will keep fighting for those more meaningful changes while not standing in the way of the potential of what this bill has to offer to our lowest income families. We understand the true value of communities of people who have enough to live and survive and live a meaningful life because that is the leadership that we need.